Hi everyone, this is Lisa from K9 Clips and this is Maddie and Maddie is a Shih Tzu who's coming for her full groom today and I'm going to show you that um, a little close up close and personal and um, how I do that in just under one hour without any restraints. So I'm going to be using a three and three quarter clipper blade on her as well as some scissors and I'm going to clean up her head really nice and short for the owner as well. So I'm just going to get started here. And hopefully you enjoy this nice close-up view. Just something I am trying out and hopefully it works very well for you guys. So I'm going to keep her body a little bit longer. I'm going to be use a three and three quarter clipper blade on her. She is uh, part blind, so Just gotta be careful of her walking off the table. But pretty relaxed dog. She's been coming to me for several years. So she's well aware of the process. So if you do like this video, I'd appreciate it if you haven't already to please subscribe and check out other videos on my channel. And if there's something specific you'd like to see, just let me know and I will direct you to it if I have it. And if not, I will record something for you when I am able to do so and I'd let you know. Come on, baby. It's okay. And a little bit of matting here in the leg. Oh. There we go. It's okay. I'm going to come back and do that inside with a different length, a little bit shorter, just because that's where everything kind of likes to stick to. So I want to do a little bit shorter of a length. <laughs> a little bit sensitive on her legs with the clipper. Kind of stretches them out for me. It's okay. Okay. Oh, uh oh. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Okay. It's okay, Maddie. Okay. Oh, a little bit slippery there. She has lots of hair under her feet, so a little bit slippery for her. Last one. Hey, hey, no, no, no. There we go. All right. So I'm going to switch to number five. I'm going to do the inside of those back legs as well as her bum area. See how she does here. There you go. It's okay. Just gotta watch out with the dogs that are a little bit older. They have lots of loose skin. So you gotta be careful not to catch that with the clippers. And you go from different angles because the hair does grow on different angles depending on where it is on the body. Stand up. So she has a little bit of hard trouble standing. There we go. On the surface. A little bit slippery. Okay. Good girl. Hold on. a little bit tighter around where she pees so I am gonna switch to number 10 in that area because I don't really want to dig with the clippers in that sensitive area there we go Have a little bit of matting in there around there The pee gets stuck to the fur, and then it just uh, slowly gets thicker and thicker, and the hair gets thicker and thicker, and kind of mats up there. So, and then it's hard for the dog to clean it if she can't get in there with all that fur.
All right. So since she's pretty relaxed here, Lay, and I don't want to disturb her too much, I am going to start on her feet. You can see they're quite full. It's my big guard dog in the background there. I think someone's walking on the sidewalk, heaven forbid. Walking in his territory. Big guard dog I got there. going to do all her feet and nails right now because I'm actually going to use the number 10 clipper blade on the face and head and see how she does with that. Some dogs do okay um, and some dogs don't like the clippers too close to their nose and stuff so and she does have quite a short nose there so I'll probably have to use scissors anyways to finish it but I definitely will be using the number 10 to get started in there. Oh, oh, it's okay, it's okay. Get all that fur out of there. When they have too much fur in there, it can make their feet a little bit sore. are a little long but not too bad still nice and healthy but uh, just that her feet are a little bit sensitive there we go good girl okay ready hey hey it's so sensitive.
please let me know if you like this perspective of me grooming. I have many other videos that I've uh, used the stand so it kind of looks over my shoulder a little bit. But I'm thinking this one's a little bit closer, but I don't know if it's too close as well. So I don't know if you get the full perspective, so let me know what you like better. I'll kind of mix the videos back and forth. Um, if everyone likes a little bit of both. But if someone, you know, if they don't like one, really like the other, then I'll probably switch over to the other one. If that is the preference, but... This one gives me a little bit better um, up, up, up. better viewing for myself. When I have the stand, I kind of got to stand on the side of the dog. Whereas I like to stand right in front of them. So it gives you more of a true um, view of how I groom the dog. Both are still good, but... This is this angle is more how I naturally groom, and the other one is just a little bit um, kind of puts me on an angle a little bit, so I sometimes gotta shift a little bit to accommodate. But in either case, I still. Um, hopefully giving you a good view of what's going on. And this one I don't have to worry about adjusting the angle of the camera every time I move. As well, it just kind of moves with me. So that's kind of nice. senior dog when they have to come in for grooming really any dog my dog power naps the rest of the day when I groom him and the struggles So I'm going to use the number 10 clippers on her head and face here, and she'll be all ready for the tub. Okay, ready? Yeah, she's doing really good. And I don't think I'll be able to get between her eyes just because they are so 
her nose is so short and I don't really want to uh, put the clippers in there. I'm just going to use the scissors to get in there nice and clean. have a little bit of hair in there but not too bad Okay, and there's the other one there. All right, so I'm just going to use the scissors here to kind of blend the shaved to the longer. So it kind of blends together a little bit rather than just a big poof and then shave. There we go. Okay, and now she's all ready for her shower. She's pretty tired. someone dropping off a dog a little bit early so sometimes I do get a little bit interrupted hey Thank you. 
this is the next dog to be groomed. Get you out of there. Okay, good girl. Okay, up, 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 up. I think she likes that towel. Okay. There you go. All right. Hey. Hey. 
Anyway. Good girl. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back to the three and three quarter blade. And just clean it up. Get that out. And then I go will be all done here. And so just clean up any anything that got mixed the first time. And it really blends it really nice together. Just with all those curls in there. Give her a quick another blow dryer, but uh, without it on her head, just to get her head a little bit drier. Yeah. interested with it being on her head so I'll let it stop there there we go this way I can just kind of blend it a little bit better here so this doesn't look so unnatural there but this way it keeps the hair out of her eyes a little bit longer I think she does have a little bit trouble seeing. So I'm just gonna kind of layer it backwards there. There we go, good girl. There, and she's just gonna be a little bit damp yet. Because her owner will be here shortly to pick her up. Usually have the dogs for about an hour with me. 
I'm going to put some ear solution in. There we go. Good girl. And a little bit of toothbrush here. <laughs> I know, not a big fan. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl. I know. This just kind of massages the teeth a little bit. But she's a bit older, so she does have a little bit of plaque buildup. Good girl. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, a little bit closer up for you, so... You can let me know what you think of that um, in comparison to if you've watched one of my other videos where I have it kind of behind me. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. And uh, I guess I will see you guys all again soon when I post another one. But as always, please let me know what you think and if you'd like to see something different. And I'll be happy to help you, help you out best I can. Thanks a lot. We'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.